All right, so let's look at relationships in Salesforce, right? So our use case is that there should be some sort of company or organization that will be tracking this COVID count cases, right? So the admin won't be do it, doing it, uh, an end user would be doing it. So let's say Salesforce makes sense as a company is tracking COVID count cases and that company is working uh, for, for uh, tracking COVID count cases for the government for this particular nation or this particular region. Now, which means that all these records will be consolidated and you know numbered and you know taken care of and tracked by a specific entity now that entity could either be an account or a contact right so we need a way to associate the account record or let's say the contact record with because we'll be associating a person with the with, with the covid count records which means a contact in the system will be creating the covid count records right so we'd want to associate a contact or an account to our covid count object Right? So here we are talking about a relationship between two different objects right? and for relationships there are two different kinds of uh, features available. One is master detail and the other one is lookup. Right? So now before heading over to the differences let's talk about what are the what some let, let's talk about some use cases. Right? The first use case I normally use is hospital and a doctor. Right? Now if a doctor is practicing any kind of medicinal activities and, and is working for a hospital, if the hospital stops existing or let's say the license of the hospital is cancelled, will the doctor's practice practice uh, be completely dissolved? No, right? He can still go and apply to different hospitals and start practicing his work there, right? Similarly, what about company and employees? If an employee, let's say uh, I, I'm a software developer, right? If, if, if my company stops existing today, does that mean I won't be able to do a job all throughout my life? No, right? I will be able to associate myself with, um, with some other company. Let's take a third example. Let's talk about banks and credit cards, right? Now, if a bank stops existing, the credit cards will also have to be dissolved, right? So credit cards will all stop existing as soon as the bank dissolves, right? So here in the three cases, we had hospital and doctor, we had company and employees, and then we had bank and credit cards. Now, if I were to ask you, which would be the parent and which would be the child here? So I hope you'll be able to understand that the hospital would be a parent, doctors would be their child right so one parent would be having multiple child which means multiple doctors will be working under a sing single hospital right the second example there could be multiple employees working for a single company which means company is the parent employee is the child the third example a single bank can provide facility facilities for multiple credit cards right so those credit cards are associated with a specific bank right so these are the three examples where we wherein we have a parent child relationship similarly in our use case we'll have a situation where a contact record can have multiple covid count records Okay, so this contact record will be responsible for all the creations of COVID count and taking care of all the COVID count records. Now, the important part is understanding what these two different relationships are. One is master detail and the other one is lookup, right? So, let's see the differences. For a master detail, the parent field is mandatory and for a lookup, the parent field is optional, right? Before looking at the first three rows let's look at the last row which is the example that i put forward right so the master detail would be a bank and credit card example because the credit card has a hard dependency on its parent right so if the parent does not exist the child cannot exist as well right which means that kind of relationships have to be given a master detail relationship in salesforce where the parent would be called the master and the child would be called the detail all right whereas company and employees have a lookup relationship because employees are not completely dependent on the parent if of a company stops existing today and if they want to switch a job or if they want to move to some different position for a different company employees are free to do so right so that dependency is not a hard dependency it, it's a it's a nominal dependency and it's not com completely dependent on the parent that's why now let's look at row number one where in the first call first row says for master detail parent field is mandatory for lookups parent field is optional second one the security of the child will be entirely controlled by the parent Right? So if let's say for a profile that you are logged in, you have read and create access to the parent record, you would also have read and create access on the child record. You cannot have edit and delete access also. That's the kind of security access or the control that parent will have on the child on the master de detail side of it. But what about lookup? You can configure the child security, security separately. That can be done. All right. You don't have to be dependent on the parent. So that security setting won't be controlled by parent, but can be configured manually for parent as well as child separately, independently. Okay. The third example, if the parent is deleted, the third uh, difference, if the parent is deleted, the child is automatically deleted. So in the system, if you end up deleting a parent record, all the child records will be deleted if that relationship is a master detail. Okay, but in case of a lookup, that's not the case. If the parent is deleted, child can still exist and will not be automatically deleted unless you manually want to do it so. 
all right so these are the these are the primary differences between master detail and lookup and now what we'll try to do is we'll look into the actual use cases let's try to associate contact record with covid comps right now if you recall i told you that if there are any kind of relationships those relationship information would be stored on the related section right on the detail section you would have all the fields available that are on the object but any kind of relationships will be available on the related tab okay so what we'll try to do is we'll go to the covid count object and we'll go to the edit object button right here okay now here we'll create a new field so as of now we have created simple fields simple primitive data type fields let's click on the new button now and let's create a relationship field so here if you see there are two forms of relationships available and whatever i explained you is is also given here briefly so you can give a give it a read and you'll be able to understand what this two re relationship uh, fields are like so let's go ahead and do something let's go to master detail or let's create a lookup relationship in our case we'll try both the scenarios okay let's say the first scenario is that the covid count records will still exist if the if the contact stops existing let's say today a particular organization is working on tracking covid related records or covid cases in the country and tomorrow it stops working on it does that mean the data of the covid count information will be irrelevant no right that data will still exist exist so if the contact is deleted does not mean that the covid count records also need to be deleted this they can still exist independently so based on that logical reasoning we'll say that we'll create a lock lookup relationship first of all okay now if we go to lookup relationship let's click on next and let's click on what is the object that we want to relate it to so you see it asks you what object do you want to associate it to so what would be the parent here the parent would be the contact right so you always have to create the field on the child level to associate with the parent so we are on the covid count and we are relating to contact okay i'll just go ahead and give it a name i'll just call it a uh, primary contact person all right so this is the name and the child relationship will be called covid counts okay now if you see you have an option to whether you always want to require a value or you you may or may not want to okay so if you check it the field will be required on the page layout if you do not check it it won't be required okay if i were to quickly show you and if i went to just if i just went previous and i just changed this to master detail okay and let's click on next and here let's associate contact now see how things change for the master detail for lookup you are being asked that you know you can mark it required or not but here you don't have any options it will always be required you see don't no requ uh, required option available right so let's go ahead and create the record create the field with the master detail and then we'll convert it okay or let's go the other way down i have certain more stuff to show you so that would be a better use case so let's go back and change this to lookup and let's click on next let's click on contact we have associated the object and now let's give it the name the relationship will be called covid counts and here what do we do if the lookup record is deleted we can simply clear the value of the field all right but if you don't want them to delete it you can choose it for a lookup you get you get to choose these options but for a master detail these are implicit the record will be deleted and the field will be required okay let's go ahead and click on next and here if you see the the same section whether you want to it to be visible to a specific persona so i'll just add it for system admin and the support manager guy let's click on next and here i want to also add it on all the four but i guess we can just add it on the two record type layouts that we just created because those are the only two we are currently using let's click on next and now you see there's one additional section that comes up as of now whatever fields we have created that was the last step we did right add it to the page layout and click on save but now you are getting one more section that's called the related list label right what does that mean this means that on the contact record whenever you open a contact record you would have something here right something like you know for each contact record you would have covid count cases associated so what label do you want to give that's what it is trying to ask so we'll just call it covid count cases and we'll just add it to the all the layouts for now because we don't know which one is being leveraged let's click on save now once we do this our lookup relationship is created and if you see the field number text area auto number lookup pick list and all of it and here you have something called lookup to contact so this is what a lookup means right if you if now you see that it says lookup to contact you will clearly understand that contact is the parent and this is the child correct let's go and let's now refresh our contact page layout and see what happens now if i enter the andy young record you'll see in the detail section there's something called covid count cases that coming up 
right? So this is how you are able to associate these two records. If I were to go to COVID counts and click on new, you would see a new field coming up. You, you would see a new field coming up. What is that field? The primary contact person. And you see, if I click on it, I'm able to select contacts or I can create fresh contacts also, right? So this is the way it's associating the contact with the COVID count record. Now let me just associate Andy Young here. Let me add some input values. And let me just save it with just two values for now and click on save. Now this means under Andy Young, there's one record created, right? If I were to go to contacts and if I go to Andy Young's record, you'd see in the related section, one record has been associated. Looks good. Sounds good. Easy. Great. There's two ways to create the records now. Either you can create the COVID count record by clicking on the new button here. But if you know what parent you want to associate it to, you can just go to the parent record. In our case, it is Andy Young. Go to the COVID count related list and click on this new button here. What this will do is, this will ensure that the lookup relation is automatically populated. See, it is populated as Andy Young. And you can just create a new record. And click on save. So you see two records have been associated. Looks good. All right. Now let's do something. Now let's go back to our fields and relationships. And now we want to change this relationship to a master detail relationship, which means this field will be always required. Before that, let me go ahead and do something. Let's go to COVID count and let's click on new. Let's click create the Delta variant two. And now I won't enter the primary contact information. I would just in enter this information. Okay. So let's see if it, if it allows us to save the record. If I click on save, you see my record is getting saved without the lookup. That's, that's the, that's the definition of lookup relationship. You don't need a value every time. It's not mandatory, but when does, how does it change when it is a master detail relationship? It changes in the fact that this particular field will be a mandatory field. Okay. Now let's go ahead and change this field to a master detail relationship how do we do that how do we do that we simply go ahead and click on edit and here you'll see an option that's called change field type this is available for all the fields based on the field limitations you are able to choose from options so right now a lookup field can only be converted to a master detail so these are the only two options you are seeing okay now i'm just switching from lookup to master detail and i'm clicking on next let's see what happens all these things stay the same and it says that we don't have that option to requ uh, mark it required or you know uh, allow deletion of the record because that's implicit i'll just click on save directly let's see what happens so you see it's saying that you cannot create master detail relationship because you have records already existing in the system now let's try to understand what it what is sales was trying to tell us and what is what is it trying to do now we wanted to convert a lookup relationship into a master detail okay now when we say a master detail relationship that means for each and every record you would have a mandatory value to the primary contact person field agreed right so if you would have a value for all the records why do you have some records in the system that do not have a value for it if i go and just add add this particular field here on the list view and if we see that there are many records which do not have the value to this particular field so Salesforce is in a dilemma that you're wanting to convert it to a master detail, but I still have some records that need the mandatory field value or else how do I convert it to a master detail? It's, it's a violation, right? It's, it's a violation. So it's saying us either you go ahead and add the association for all the records and then come back and create the master detail relationship or else just remove this records. Okay. So let me just go ahead and do something. I'll just edit each of these records and I'll add the values. I'll delete some of them also. And then let's see how it looks like right so i've made the changes and now if you see there are just two records which have the value of the primary contact person now let's go back here and let's go to our previous page and let's try to convert this relationship to a master detail now let's go back to COVID count let's go to fields and relationships and here primary contact person edit change field type and let's convert this to a master detail now and let's click on next let's click on save now and let's see what happens so you see now your lookup has been successfully changed to a master detail because in your system you don't have any such records wherein the mandatory field is empty or blank right and now let's go ahead and do something refresh this page and let's create a new record for the COVID count and you'll notice that the primary contact person field is a mandatory field now you cannot go ahead and save it without this field 
right so it says we hit a snack please fill in this particular value complete this field so this becomes a mandatory field to enter all right now if i save it andy young has a new record created if i go to this hyperlinked connected record i'll see that under covid count cases there are three records now right so now this is how relationships work on salesforce all right there's master detail wherein you have a hard dependency between parent and child and there's lookup when in terms of you know there's no hard dependency from the parent to the child so the child can independently exist whether the parent exists or not right that's the difference one last thing i would want to do as an additional thing here right so this is a related related tab right and we have a related item here remember we at we saw notes and attachment on our covid count related tab we saw it here right notes and attachment now if you see on the contact layout you uh, under the contact layout you have the covid count cases tab coming up also now what i want you guys to think about it how to move this particular list right on the top and also have some more fields available here okay just think about it if you can try it out just just try it out or else just wait for a second or so and i'll probably give you the solution all right you can pro you can pause here and you can just try it out or else the solution is coming right away all right so we want to add some fields here so that this list view has some valid information this names this names don't give us any valid information and also since the covid tracker application is all about the covid count cases i would want want my focused view and i would want this particular list to come on top not on the bottom right i don't want to scroll right at the end so how do i do it i go to setup what page is concerned and before asking what page is concerned you need to ask yourself what object is concerned the object is contacts right so we need to modify something on the contact layout so let's go to the object manager and let's type in contact and here let's go to page layouts now how do i know what page layout is assigned here right i'm hoping you guys are answering these questions but uh, the answer would be by looking at the page layout assignment right if i go to the page layout assignment i'll be able to see that system admin guy has been assigned a specific layout and that layout is not the contact layout i just go to the contact layout and under the contact layout we have something called related lists right so i can just scroll down like this or i can just go to this link right here that takes me down directly now all this list look exactly how we are seeing it here opportunities cases campaign history and so on and so forth right what i want to do is i want to move my covid count cases on the top that's my first request so i just drag and drop it right on the top so that the view is more focused correct so covid count comes on right comes right on top and now if you see the standard list that are present have so many fields right relevant fields but our covid count list only has the covid count name so to add some more fields on your related list this is the gear i can write here and you can very well add some fields here so i'll just go ahead and add the day category entry date and the total cases all right let's click on okay and let's click on save now once this is saved our page layout should reflect the same if it does not we'll probably log out and log in one more time but yeah it's it's coming up so see now covid count cases is right on top i have a more focused view and i am able to see this fields right here if i want to open any field i can just click on this hyperlink because this is a related record a child record you have the hyperlinks available directly and you can open the record if you want to go back to the contact record you have this hyperlink here you can just go back to the contact record all right great that was about relationships in salesforce let's see what we have in the next session